morning. Happy Thursday. On today's agenda, guess what I'm doing? Taking down the Christmas tree, taking down the Christmas tree. I just realized that I have <laughs> Thanksgiving in the kitchen and Christmas in the living room. I'm also going to give the garage another coat of mud. I think this one is going to be different because I need to add a little bit of water to the mud itself and then it will be a thinner, kind of a skim coat, but I need to just, what's, <laughs> what's happening? Look into that and then just do it because then that would be the third coat. It needs to be lightly sanded, maybe even take a sponge and even everything out, prime it, paint it, and on to the next wall. We have a few more, but this is going to me, this will be something that I've, I've wanted to do, I, I've wanted to conquer it. Let's just put it that way. I've done it before, but never, never very well. A couple questions about the treatment the other day that I had the BBL, which is broadband light treatment. It is a laser that helps get rid of sunspots, hyperpigmentation spots, melasma, and it also helps get rid of these broken capillaries I have. I actually call this my barcode because if I don't have makeup on, I've got them going up and down right here. I've got them around my nose. I've got a few here and a few on my chin. What that, what that does, it goes in and zaps them and helps shrink them. I recommend that you do them in either three, a package of three or a package of five because you get the best benefit if you do that type of treatment. I have done these before. I've also tried IPL, which is intense pulsed light treatment. It's the same thing, but it's it's less of an area, like the broadband means a broader area. The IPL, from what I understand, treats smaller areas. So for my case, what they did the other day was they did one pass of the laser and that's for the whole entire face. They went back and did another pass for sunspots and rosacea. Then they went back and did the pass for the actual capillaries. Procedure, this place did not use numbing gel. I've had both BBL and IPL in the past. Some places use it, some don't. But what they do is they remove your makeup. They put on like an ultrasound gel that's very cold and they give you a pair of goggles and they start the treatment. Sorry, I have hair in my face. Oh my goodness, there we go. And it feels kind of like a rubber band when they treat you. And I will be honest, some places are very spicy. Like around your nose, that's, that's very spicy. This didn't hurt so much, but it was when they moved your <laughs> nose and got that, wow see results in the next couple weeks. My face was a little dry. When did I have this done? Tuesday. And so it was a little dry. So I exfoliated this morning and it feels, it feels better. But I will go in for treatment number two in four weeks after that. And then treatment number three in four weeks after that. No sun exposure. You can't go in the sun. You have to wear SPF, which I do religiously every single day. And these treatments are best during the winter because if you have any type of tan, any type of color on your face, if I'm not mistaken, I think it can change that. So you might get lighter spots. So it's best to do it in the winter. I also wanted to tell you that I'm going to be doing laundry stripping. And I've never done it this way before, but I wanted to try it because I'm, I've seen people do it and the stuff that comes out of your clothes it's it's gonna be very interesting. Bathroom, I'm getting ready to do laundry stripping. What I'm doing takes several hours, so just keep that in mind if you wanna do it. But what you do is fill the bathroom tub up with hot water. Mine isn't like hot, hot. I mean, I can put my hand in it without burning it. But then I'm going to add those three soaps behind me a little bit of each, dissolve it, and then throw my items in. So first I'm doing my jeans, and then I will move on to my workout clothes. 
these have soaked, I think, up to five hours. You rinse them out. I, I've heard the water gets really bad. So I will share. <laughs> I might be a little embarrassed to share with you what I find, but, I, but I'm going to. Finished stripping them. I'm going to rinse them out, throw them in the laundry, and wash them out several times with some vinegar. Make sure they're good and clean. And then I'm going to try to do that with all of our laundry. Strip everything over the next couple weeks. And then I'm going to start using a new laundry detergent. I'm going to try two different ones. I'll let you know which one that I really like the best, but they're supposed to be friendlier and healthier than what I've been using. I'm you know, we're doing all of the organic. We're taking care of ourselves internally, but we really need to take care of ourselves externally by what we use as far as lotions, laundry detergent, etc. I've researched is these this combo of the washing soda, the borax, and then any type of powdered fabric detergent or laundry detergent. Those three will strip out any dirt, grime, and leftover residue from fabric softener. So I'm going to use a fourth of a cup of this Arm & Hammer, fourth of a cup of borax, and then a half a cup of this powder. This was the smallest bag I could find. I don't use this normally, but this is what I bought because I didn't want to buy like a 20 pound bag. So I'm gonna get this started. I explained that my goal is to do this to the clothes that have a funky smell, like pants, like work pants, workout clothes, etc. So let me show you what it looks like now. Then I'll put the jeans in and maybe I'll take pictures over time over the next couple hours. The water looks like. I threw the water, I threw the soap in and dissolved it. And now I'm gonna throw my jeans in. So let's, yeah, this has the drywall mud on them. So let's just throw this in here and we'll see what what happens <laughs> i'm kind of afraid because i i don't know all right so let me take a picture and we'll check back here in the next couple hours jeans the water's looking dirty let me show you i think these have been in here for a couple of hours the water is it has a blue tint but it's also dirty so yeah I'm gonna leave them in here for a little longer and then I might do my kitchen towels next so I'll keep you posted jeans update do you see how filthy the water is well the water is clear on the screen but it is it's dirty so I'm going to rinse these out, put them in the washer, and run them through with vinegar and get them all clean. And then the next thing I'm doing, I'm going to do the kitchen towels, and then I'm doing our bedding. Ugh. Hey, Jesus, it's me. Listen, we were singing the song at church when we all get to heaven. I know. I love it. I love it, too. Except it really seemed like some of the people in the church need...